Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be installing and configuring a wireless access point in my home network. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I've actually labelled all my cables, this one being AP1. It just makes it a lot easier in the future when I go to troubleshoot if something goes wrong. Before you connect your router to your main network, what you want to do is find out your default gateway of your main router, so then you can actually determine a static IP for this access point. So this hub's standard router IP was something like 192.168.2.1, so I had to disconnect my main computer off the internet and plug this router straight into my computer, and then type in the 192.168.2.1 so I can get into the hub's main homepage. When you go to plug the Ethernet into the back of the router, just make sure it's plugged into a LAN port and not a WAN port. And after the LAN port, make sure it's plugged straight into your computer and make sure your computer is disconnected from all the internet. And then go into your browser and open it up, type in 192.168.2.1 or whatever your IP for your router is set to. Okay, so now we've got things a little bit more tidied up, we can head over into the dashboard and I can show you exactly what I mean. First of all, what we're going to do is head over to CMD and we're going to type in IP config and this is how you're going to find out your default gateway to your main router. Just be aware that I am actually connected to the internet via my main router and I'm not actually connected up to the other router just yet. But for all purposes sake, I am actually connected to my main router and connected going through the internet. This is how I'm getting my default gateway coming up through the IP config. So here is my main hub that connects straight to the internet after here. This is where you'll find all your connected devices and you'll see if you're using the same IP twice that'll be causing an IP conflict. Once you have determined an IP, you can disconnect from your main router and connect to your new access point and start the configuration process. So now we can find a tab called LAN and then we can change the IP to the one we want to use for the access point. Just to say again, make sure this is plugged into your LAN port and not your WAN port. If it's plugged into your WAN port, this won't work. In the wireless settings, you can also change the wireless name, so you can call it whatever you want. Here, just make sure DHCP server is disabled, because if it's enabled, it's going to try um, sending out an IP to the connected devices that's connected to it, when in theory, your main route is going to be doing that anyway. So make sure that's turned off. All you have to do now is connect this up to your main router and you're all done. If you have liked this video guys and found it useful, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.